Good morning, my lovely friends. Good morning, everyone. If you're new here, thank you so much for visiting and I would, would love for you to subscribe to my channel. I have a videos on Saturdays, Tuesdays and Thursdays, three videos a week about fashion, beauty and style. Today, I have a review of a new product. New product to me, but it's been on the market for a while and you know well from the title, it's a Veet Derma Planning Tool. What it does, I'm gonna explain everything to you and we're gonna do a live test on one side of my face so you know exactly how it works, you can see the result itself. I've tried this product before about two weeks ago on one side of my face and I'm absolutely delighted with it. So this is gonna be a positive review, prepare yourself. <laughs> I don't think I have any downsides about it but let, let, let me just get back to you on this one. This, I just want to explain and show you how to use it so you know in detail if you're planning to buy it yourself. It's quite inexpensive, it was about 36 euros. I bought it on sale myself. This is not sponsored by anyone, um, definitely not sponsored by Veet. But it is actually third product from Veet that I'm reviewing on my channel. If you watch my previous video, like very, very old video, I review Veet waxing pot and I think also Veet uh, razor kind of um, portable. Is it what you call a portable a razor that you can put in your bag and just carry it around if you need to shave your legs, for example, suddenly. <laughs> but it's all below. I can leave those videos if you want to have a fun and watch them. I can leave the links below this video anyway. So let's start. I throw out the packaging, so I do not have a packaging. I'm going to leave the picture somewhere over here for you so you know how the packaging looks like. But I'm going to show you what it's, what was, what it is in the packaging when you're buying the product. So first of all, um, there is a device itself. It's battery operated and the battery was included. Okay. Also, you're going to get two blades. I call them razors blades. They're similar to razors, but they're not as sharp and also you're going to get a miracle oil. So this oil is going to help you to glide the device on your skin. And of course there's instruction and I have instruction in front of me because there's a couple of things that I need to tell you about. <laughs> but before we start, why would you use that um, derma planning tool for what and why, why do we even need it? <laughs> so as a woman, as many of you, and if you're concerned about something, which is your facial hair, that's what I'm using it for. If you're concerned about your facial hair, a lot of women are, and I've met a lot of friends who are really concerned about it, and I actually feel for everyone who is concerned about that. I have a facial hair also. It's not as prominent and it's quite light in color and feel, but I've noticed when I, last year, twice I waxed my face, my skin was amazing. Although waxing feels so harsh on the skin, my skin was healing for about two days after, I want to find something that is less invasive and I think I found my answer. So derma planning is actually something that you can have done in the beauty salons, which I didn't know about how not educated I am. <laughs> I should know better than that. But you can have derma planning apparently a procedure done once a month in the beauty salons. Also, there's amazing products that I read a good few reviews about and it's on my list. It's called Derma Flash. It's gonna be, Derma Flash is very similar to this product, but it's, I feel it's more advanced. Um, and both of those products should remove a facial hair and also help to remove a dead skin cells from your skin. So of course, if we remove dead skin cells, your skin will be more glowing, makeup will sit so much better, and all the beauty products that you're using kind of soaks into your skin easier. Once you remove a dead skin, of course, it's so much easier for beauty products to penetrate your skin. So that's, I am going to use this product for the reason. First of all, I want to remove a facial hair and the other good side effect and positive effect would be also that it's going to remove my dead skin cells. I've used that about two weeks ago. I've also used it on on my leg. I was really, really curious because I have tanned legs at that time and I have a little bit of eczema and I just want to see it because it's so easier to see on your leg when you have more kind of like a flaky dry skin. It doesn't really work and it worked wonders. I did not recommend to anyone who has eczema or any skin condition to use it. Please don't take that. I've only tested it on myself and I want to test it. And I have just only one spot of eczema on one of my legs. But 
it was it was okay just to let you know but be really really careful if you have eczema on your face um, or moles like I have one over here it's not advisable to use it also if you have acne and I have actually one skin um, one breakout over here it's my hormonal breakout in my age as age 42 and I still get a breakout my monthly breakouts um, it's not advisable to use over anything that might be prone to cancer anything um, like a mole or just actually like acne skin it's not advisable but I am going to use it over that spot today and I'm going to use over my mole also. This mole is on my skin for years since I was a child and I've been always shaving it off and um, so it's okay. I've been shaving before even derma planning was <laughs> introduced to us. So let me show you also what is in the kit. I think I didn't say it yet. So you're going to get a device, you're going to get two blades and you're going to get oil. And also I did mention you're going to get just kind of a storage bag. Oil. I've used, as you can see, there's two oils in the package, so I did not use it last time. I've used my Espa facial oil and it works perfectly also. So it's just show you don't have to worry if you run out of this oil, of course you can buy another one. It's also advised by the company to use only one blade per one treatment and it could be it costs enough, but if you use it only once every two or three weeks, like I am planning to use it, then it cost is actually quite good. Spread it over the year, it's not that bad at all. Um, it's not advisable to use close to your eyes also. Therefore, I was hoping maybe I could use it around my brows, but the blade is actually not kind of comfortable enough to use around the brows. Therefore, normally I'm using something like that. It's just a little tool from Primark that has a little blade. Let me just get this out little blade at the end and that's usually what I do to shave my brows um, my unwanted hair around my brows not all my brows <laughs> but yes so this is the blade and it's quite simple to attach to it just twist around let me just find it yeah. so once you hear the click it means it's in place also it's advisable to break that little part to slide it off the cover from the blade then how can I do it I slide it without breaking it off. Now it's broken. Yes, it's actually easy to, to slide it back in and out. Let me just show you. I hope you can see how the blade look like. So this is battery operated. So I believe this blade is actually going to vibrate gently and just help to kind of remove that debris from your skin better. But before we start, we need to use some oil as well on the skin. So I'm actually going to use the one from Vite on my skin on one side. I just want to see if it doesn't gonna cause, um, cause any irritation on my sensitive skin or stuff like that so I can let you know as well clearly. So I'm gonna break it off here on top, if I can. Perfect, it feels very, very greasy. So I'm just now gonna apply on my skin and let's see how much we need it. And smell beautifully, smell delicious. So I'm gonna use only this Derma Planning Pen with you only on one side of my face because I want you to see, is it actually work? And I'm gonna compare both sides. So let me just apply this. Just to let you know, of course, you need to have a clear, clean skin. So all I use, I just use my regular um, face cleanser and nothing else. I did not use any face creams apart from my close to my eye area. We're not gonna use Dermaplan close to my eye anyway. Um, so I have an eye makeup, that's, that's as far as it goes and I don't have any other makeup. I have a little bit of a lip pencil, lip liner actually. Now I feel that that's actually plenty and there's still loads of left of product of that oil in it, which is great. Um, I don't know how I'm going to close it, but I'm going to keep it upwards to, to keep it in. Yes, it's safe over there. I believe like if we need more, we can always apply a little bit more. So clean skin, very, very important. Avoid eye area. And now you can use it. Did I mention that you can use it twice a week? If you, um, not more than twice a week. Ideally once a week and if you're planning to use it for more kind of like exfoliating reasons, 
to remove the dead skin cells than once a week. If you only want to remove that peach fuzz, the, the facial hair, once every three weeks, it's absolutely enough. And please, if you can, use a new blade every single time. Yeah, what else we need to do? Make a free uh, dry skin, clean skin, um, no creams, no face creams, nothing. And this sh the whole treatment, the full face, should take about five to 10 minutes. Um, let's see how long it's gonna take. I actually, looking at my watch, it's half 12. We're gonna see how quickly um, I can do this. <laughs> um, to turn it on, simply you have to just press the button and it starts to kind of gently vibrate. It's not a huge vibration, it's just a gentle kind of movement, more sound than anything. There's a certain way that Veet want us to use this um, tool also. You need to hold it comfortably over here, placing your finger, and there's a way that we need to use it on um, certain directions on our face. So on the forehead, if we want us to move it downwards, then over here in the cheek areas, moving kind of inwards, and around the lips, using downwards, and be really careful not to touch your lips, and on the chin, going inwards again. And then of course, you can continue and you can use this part. I have to say the last time I've used different directions and it was still okay, um, I just need to be gentle and hold it in a 45 angle, 45 degree angle to your skin. I think that's everything that I need to say. 45 degree, yes. And I think we're gonna start, will we? Let's just have a look. I might just put this video part of it on a speed a little bit because it might just otherwise, it's gonna be five or 10, uh, ten minutes of a video for you watching me shaving my face. <laughs> So let's have a look how it actually works. I'm gonna give you a feedback while I'm using it as well. So I'm gonna press the button and let me show you. You cannot really see it vibrating or anything like that. You can gently hear it. So I have a mirror here in front of me and let me have a look. I'm actually going to move hair away from my face. I just want to make sure that I'm not shaving actually <laughs> my, um, my hair, just only the one facial hair we want to remove. So let's have a look. So I'm gonna do small, short strokes as it's recommended. And if you do have a tan, just to let you know, it will remove your tan. It won't remove it completely, but definitely something will happen. And I can see a little bit of dead skin cells and tan coming up. Now, let me just stop it for a second. This is absolutely disgusting, and I don't know do I want to show you. But if, you, if, you, if you're not ready, just close your eyes for one second. <laughs> this is what came off my face. Can you see it's just kind of hanging off a little bit of hair over here? which is absolutely disgusting, but it also has a color to it. And I feel it could be, just like I mentioned, it's actually my skin, my dead skin. So I'm gonna continue. There's a little bit of that over here. I'm gonna be really cautious and careful around my brows because I don't want to shave my brows. It's also advisable not to repeat in the same spot, but I'm recording this video and it's gonna be hard to do it because I'm trying to focus on chatting to you about everything and not to repeat the place. So I apologize if I do. I hope everything's gonna be okay. But as far as you can see, there's no kind of redness or discolorations on my skin for the moment, which is fantastic. Let's continue. It helps also that um, I can hear kind of like a, where the facial hair is, I can hear it's kind of scraping, so it's easy to probably recognize when it's already done or is not. I have to say, I have a quite glowy skin today, so this could be quite difficult for me to show you how glowy my skin is. I'm actually gonna go here in the middle as well, around my nose to be really really careful now just double check that I definitely did everything I can I feel like this is such a small and difficult area to do over here I'm going to move on a little bit closer to my eye. 
but it's such a delicate area I don't really want to pull it I don't want to go too close as you can see also there's a quite a little bit of a distance before the blade starts so it's okay it looks like I'm going closer than actually I am <laughs> Um, but so far so good. I'm going to remove that oil with you and just to show you as well true kind of skin, a matte skin because obviously oil it's just make it more glowy than it is. Let's continue. I'm going to actually work around my nose also. I don't have much facial hair on my nose. But I've noticed if you miss the place, you can actually see it when you apply makeup a little bit. Also, this kind of little tiny little hair usually bothers me a lot. I actually don't like them. So I'm gonna go in a little bit closer over here. And around my ears, usually that's where I get a lot of kind of facial regrowth. I'm going the direction that it's not recommended, opposite direction. And now I'm trying the other way. Now there's definitely um, less noticeable hair now on the blade, I have to say, than on my forehead. As the last time when I was actually using this uh, tool, I didn't use it on my forehead, I only use it around the cheek area because I was really curious to do um, this review for you and just to give you a feedback when the hair grows back, how it actually feels and I'm going to let you know about that in one second. The only thing I have to say, it's hard to know um, that you did it right it's hard to see it. I might just turn my mirror other way and I'll see it maybe in a closer view. Sorry, I don't want you to look at the mirror. <laughs> Can I see it? And I cannot hear any scraping anymore, so therefore I'm not sure am I doing this right or not. I could not believe that this blade could, could hurt you. Um, I feel it's quite blunt. Um, so no, I, I wouldn't say it wouldn't. I don't, I'm not sure. I did not hurt myself with it yet, to be honest. So I'm gonna go over here now and be really gentle. I'm going over my um, skin breakout and it feels okay. It's more kind of like just a little bit on the skin but maybe that's why I get away with it. I feel like most of the oil is gone now gonna go different direction just to make sure that everything is gone and I'm actually gonna focus on this area also which I always have a quite good bit of hair so I'm gonna take a little bit more oil And I think that's it. So 
So yeah, it is about five minutes it took. Now, if you're ready, again, if you want to, please close your eyes because this is not a really good look. And to be honest, I probably should not be showing you this, but I want you to see how much dirt is on it. And I believe this is uh, remains of maybe my old tan. The old, like of course, dead skin cells and a little bit of facial hair. Are you ready? If not, please close your eyes if you don't want to look at that. Can you see it? How dirty this blade is. It's just, it's unbelievable. It's disgusting. So I'm gonna clean that off um, later and I'm just gonna continue then without you maybe on my, on my other half of my face. But now I'm just gonna remove that oil and we can compare it both sides. Feeling for the moment, it's hard to tell because once you have an oil on your skin, of course it feels more smooth and soft and things like that. So let me see, can I just remove this oil only with my rose water? And even, even my cotton pad is so dirty. Like it looks like, yes, it's remaining of tan or something because I don't have a makeup on and I did cleanse my skin thoroughly today. I did have remain of tan on my neck. So that's what it could be as well. I think my tummy is making noise. I don't know that you heard it. My tummy is hungry now. <laughs> it's time for a break. I've only started recording this video. <laughs> now. Let me just let it dry for one second and I will chat you through while uh, this is drying as well on my skin. I just want to tell you a couple of things, my feedback when I was using this last time. So my feedback was, it's proved by science, your hair do not gonna grow back thicker, stronger, um, darker or anything like that. Apparently now it's proved by science. They've checked and if you shave in your hair, it grows back exactly the same. It does give an impression of maybe a a thicker hair but it's not it's just because you cut them bluntly of course they might feel a little bit sharp but just to let you know I do not felt any sharp kind of regrowth after like do you know when you touch a man's face sometimes or you shave your legs I did not feel that because I feel our facial hair are soft and delicate anyway therefore I did not see any sudden regrowth more actually I felt the regrowth was nice and slow and very fine barely visible and to be honest I probably could go another week without using this tool but i want to record that video for you today so do not worry about it you're not gonna have a strong new regrowth out of nowhere your hair gonna grow back exactly the same as always and if you use them regularly you will have no facial hair whatsoever so just to show you i'm not sure can you see it properly my skin feels really really soft really soft in touch versus this side which it's always there's a little bit of that peach fuzz feeling when you touch your skin and i believe oh, it just feels amazing feels amazing actually feels even better than the last time maybe it's just it's it's also of course there's oil but i feel oh wow it's so lovely to touch i did not have that feeling last time i think i was more particular this time because i'm recording this video and last time i just want to test it a little bit it feels so good and the makeup definitely gonna sit better on my skin and even after waxing makeup just it is so more glowy dewy kind of no cakey nothing like that so i hope you can see the glow versus this side which probably have a glow as well 
but I'm not sure is there that much difference. I think if I did not have a glow in the first place, maybe, but it feels, yes, like I have lovely kind of exfoliated skin with nothing else on, just looks lovely like a naked skin. It, 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 there is a huge difference. So I'm really, really happy with it. And to be honest, I am going to consider to buy Derma Flash. Derma Flash is about 200 euros and replacement blades are about 36 and Derma Flash is um, recommended to use definitely once a week for more exfoliating reasons and the side effects, good side effects, it's the facial hair remover also. But the price difference between VEAT if you want to try it and see. I would try buy the VEAT first, see are you happy with it, what do you think about it and then maybe move, move on to more expensive product. But yes, I definitely would recommend V. I'm really, really happy with it and please believe me, your facial hair grow exactly the same as they normally would and I did not see any strong regrowth difference that it did not feel nice or feel harsh or sharp on the skin, nothing like that. I think that's absolutely everything. My tummy is rumbling and demanding a food now. <laughs> um, so I think that's everything about this lovely product. I'm going to continue and keep sharing my other side without you. But from now on, hopefully you're going to see that my makeup also is going to sit better on my skin. and. Thank you so much for watching this part with you. With me, if you want to stay, please do. I am continue with my daily vlogs for the next couple of days. Good morning, everyone. Today is Sunday and I have so much to do. I don't know how much I'm gonna be able to record with you today, but I have more plans to record tomorrow and have this video for you on Tuesday. So hopefully today is Tuesday for you and you're watching this video. We are going this morning um, to do some grocery shopping. So I'm going to show you my typical grocery look. <laughs> it's not great, there's nothing to really look at, but I find it always, it's so, so handy to wear clothes like that. Um, so what I'm wearing is just uh, my Reese jacket jumper because it's still so cold in Ireland. Typical black jeans from French Connection. It's high-waisted jeans. I love high-waisted jeans. I also have a, like a thermal vest underneath <laughs> to keep me warm and my Lacoste trainers because they're so comfortable and I'm going to take with me my Camellia Roma bag. So this is my typical look. If you ever see me in town doing a grocery shopping, that's easy to spot me because <laughs> I always look like that. Um, in the future, I am going to probably just dress up a little bit different, but it's still so cold and I need as many layers as possible. I didn't come up with the good ideas for casual layers yet. I have loads of uh, more kind of summer clothes, but no layers. Also, what else I'll be doing? I'm going to be working in the garden today. I am um, keep painting a big, long wall that we have. And also yesterday we were planting some uh, plants that I'm going to show you. I'm going to bring it to the garden and show you a little bit more. Also, I have to shot a little bit, just one scene for my commercial video that I uh, mentioned before for the company. And then I think I'm going to do Column's haircut. I do cut Column's hair for the last couple of years and I learned from YouTube. Thanks YouTube. That's what I know how to cut his hair from and he's delighted with it. So this is our agenda. For me, a lot of maintenance, a fresh tan. Um, so today will be, today and tomorrow, it's going to be definitely my maintenance day. I need to maintain myself. <laughs> and my clothes are going to be destroyed and hair after painting today. But hopefully I'll see you soon after doing a grocery and I'll keep going with that video. We are back from our shopping trip and if you want to I'm just going to show you a few things that we bought. It's nothing really really exciting but there's a couple of favorite things that we have there and also just to let you know I applied my conditioner, brow conditioner this morning. I did not apply any color on my brows so they just don't look great today but that's what it is at the moment and hopefully they will be lovely in about three weeks. I am planning to do a lovely stir fry today. Let me show you a book um, inspiration for it. You might have that book already, so it's Joe Week's uh, Fat Loss Plan. Um, fat Loss? Oh, that's an awful title. Weight Loss Plan. And on page 54, there is a lovely Asian beef stir-fry. Um, you might have a, 
see recipe over here but it's absolutely lovely and i have found this recipe a couple times before and it's always been lovely and tasty so i've got ingredients for it but let me show you what else we got <laughs> we have got our favorite bread from tesco we just love this bread and i always freeze it and then put it in the oven to have it fresh every time we need it there's my vegetables i love pok choy it's just what a lovely vegetable mm, for that stir fry then of course we need like a spring onions we've got some grapes um rocket leaves for salad for mozzarella salad and um, some apples gold kiwi so it's all kind of healthy more healthy stuff in this bag and then we always have everything separated like this is everything that it goes to our fridge for example and we just keep it separated the bag is just easier to pack away than uh, to the fridge so got some cheese and bread for column organic cucumber if i can i am buying organic pieces and um, organic eggs as well i am planning to stay very very healthy this week um, therefore, I will focus on uh, doing intermittent fasting and have about two meals a day. Mm, so I'm going to have a lunch and a dinner. I'm going to skip breakfast. But anyway, shiitake mushrooms as well. They will be lovely for that stir fry. And just a few kind of essentials that we need. Of course, a cat food. But this is a lovely uh, gluten-free kind of crisp bread that I have instead of bread. It's not that I, I cannot eat gluten, but I find it very light and airy. So it's lovely crisp bread mm, that I have usually with the eggs. And of course, I got a little bit more of uh, naked um, snacks, uh, strawberry, um, sandy, kind of sandy, sunday bars. And this one is quite nice as well. It's chocolate orange. So it's only fruits. I've shown you that before, as you can see at ingredients. So it's only dates cashew nuts raisins cocoa there's no badness added sugar or anything so they kind of 100 percent natural um ingredients um yeah so that's it there's nothing else really exciting over here we will try to do a little bit of a barbecue today so i have a meat in the fridge prepared for it um but yeah that's all so as i mentioned just a typical sunday shopping nothing really really exciting it's very very cold today and I do have to paint that wall outside. I just want to have it finished. I just hate unfinished projects, but I have so much else to do today. I need to tidy downstairs. I don't even want to show you our kitchen because it's one big mess. I'm not sure, can you see it behind me? But even there, we were had a takeaway last night and the house is just a mess. Washing, it's just so much built up for today. So I really need to get going and get everything done as much as I can as soon as possible. So I've changed into a very unflattering clothes. <laughs> I'm not going to show you full outfit because there's no point to look at it. But I just need to be kind of in my worst clothes that I have because I'm planning to scrub this house today inside. I've decided to change my plans not to go outside because it's really cold, it's windy. We meant to have a lovely barbecue outside, paint the wall and now I don't really want to put my food outside and it's kind of trying to rain trying to rain so we did our shopping we, we delighted with it but so I, I was left with the meat I, I marinated meat for barbecue and now I was left with it so I decided to first time to use a slow cooker and let me show you so this is our new inexpensive slow cooker from Lidl and I've just put it meat inside with loads of herbs a fresh garlic a little bit of oil and i set up for 5 22 hours this is my a very very first time to cooking this so i really hope it's going to work out uh, one of the girls orla from work thank you so much for recommending this to me she's absolutely delighted with her slow cooker and she cook with slow cooker all the time um so i'll leave the results hopefully it's going to work out i'm going to make just a traditional kind of maybe with the potatoes and some kind of fresh salad i could probably make that into stew but i'm really curious first how the meat is going to cook and i hope it's going to really going to kind of fall apart and it's going to be kind of comfortable and warming uh, food for today for such a cold and ugly day outside let me just actually show you my dirty window where cats always kind of just destroy it but also i show you how windy it is outside so, so Hmm, where's the wind? Yeah, I think we can see a little bit of the wind. It's it's just not great. I am not happy with it. This is the white wall that I'm trying to paint over there <laughs> and it's very, very long. But yeah, this is our view 
for the back garden and a dirty window that it's also on my list to wash and clean over the next couple of days. So before I am going to start tidy, I want to create another mind map. You have seen this one in my previous video. Just to kind of briefly, um, just a little reminder what it is that you're trying to throw all the thoughts and tasks that you want to accomplish and do. So for example, I have them divided into different sections like health, daily fitness, mind, um, health, happy living, finances and work. And they also color coordinated, which is very important. Your mind also remember apparently the most the things that are in the square like that therefore everything that is on the outside is the most important one for me and I'm trying to keep them in a squares apart from this one <laughs> um, but for example for daily fitness so I am planning to be more fit and lose a little bit of weight and how to achieve this so for example garden work even will help me if I decide to plan plant my vegetables um, or um, what else, for example, water plants even, because it's so heavy to carry them around uh, the water can, it, that actually helped build my strength, for example. So just silly things like that, but they on the paper just give me an idea. For strength exercise, for example, calisthenics and pilates will help me for a little bit of cardio, for example, like with dance instead of doing anything else. But you can give yourself as many options as possible. It's your personal mind map. And also for health, let's say I want to... I have to take more vitamins and also eat more nutritional food and through that let's say how to do it I need to test new recipes I need to try new ways of cooking vegetables let's say in, grate them instead of chopping them um, plan my meals every day stop buying bad food just the simple things like that but today I want to create a mind map for everything that has to do with the housework house cleaning also with youtube work recording more in detail than it's over here so just to kind of plan my next week next couple of days and that's what i'm going to do now So I'm just going to keep going and just adding more things uh, throughout the day as well. So this is kind of like a weekly daily planner as well. So it's nothing um, that I cannot add or take it off the list. So once it's done, I can cross it off or just sell a tape over so I don't have to look at that task anymore. But at least my thoughts are organized and now I can switch off properly and enjoy my green tea. So this video is going to be really random today. There's so many things, but I suppose that's the idea of the vlogs, but I just want to show you we are still uh, getting um, homemade dinners from a company called Dinners for Winners. So it is this company creating healthy, nutritious meals below 500 calories. So if you're planning a diet and let's say you don't want to cook the meals, you don't have to worry what you eat every single day. They have a breakfast, lunch and dinner menus and you can order three of them. You can order for a full week three meals per day for example if you want to i think there's a minimum of five meals that you have to order and it's through subscription so it's delivered to your door every single sunday and we are delighted with them because it just makes it a little bit easier for us i'm still going to be cooking i'm still going to be ma making a different meals but um 
this is a little help for the days when I'm recording, for example, and I don't have a time to cook. So, for example, this week we got a spinach beef curry, then also spicy beef burger. Then what else? We have a turkey satay and chicken kebab and also Mediterranean chicken. So most of those um, prod uh, meals are changing weekly. Some of them are repeated. I remember we have that one last week already and I think we have this one as also and they're really, really tasty. So some of them are repeated, some of them are quite new. But yeah, if you're looking for something for Southeast homemade meals and they work out about seven euro each, which is actually very, very good value. And it's definitely plenty for one person, just one of those boxes. Not enough for two, but it's enough for one person, one a meal like that. So it's been about three and a half hours since I started cooking that meat and it looks amazing. I finally started to fall apart but it's a good test for first time cooking. At least I'm at home I can control it and make sure that it's not get overcooked but meat is falling apart so I'm looking forward to it. I probably didn't have to add oil to it at all because now it looks quite greasy. So next time lesson learn do not add oil. I did add oil for the reason at the start to marinate the meat and also to put it on the grill. But oh well, I'm sure it's still gonna be delicious. Good afternoon, my lovely friends. Today is Monday and I had such a productive morning. How is your day? How was your weekend? Let me know in the comments below. I'm really curious what are you actually doing are you still in the lockdown? We are going to be in the lockdown for another quite while. Some of the businesses are coming back. Unfortunately, my work is not going to start for about another month. Maybe the end of June, I will be able to go back to work. But I'm so happy to be with you at the moment. I'm not in any hurry. Sorry, work. I love you loads, guys. But I'm not in any hurry to go back. <laughs> I'm enjoying my life now so much with you guys to be in here. My lovely friends, everyone who's watching it. Loads of hugs and love and just to let you know yes yesterday what what a day yesterday is sunday and today is as cold as yesterday it's disgraceful so i don't really want to put my food outside that door and i promise i'm going to show you plants what we were doing but i'm going to wait for a better day because now it's uh, trying to rain mm -hmm. <laughs> so i did not put my food outside that door i meant to go for a walk or a little run and i didn't do anything so i have my layers i have my navy piece from Femme Deluxe and also my SS Cozy jumper. I just want to stay nice and warm. I'm sorry I'm not very glamorous today for you. But if you see the first part of the video, let's go closer to light. Uh, my skin is so glowing after that derma planning. It's absolutely amazing. I'm really thinking now to invest in derma flash also to get even better results. It's 200 euros. So I really need to think that purchase through maybe next month, next month, but I am so in love. I feel like I had a proper chemical kind of peel. There's so much glow in it, but also the fact that the facial hair is gone it, and the makeup, it's so even and sits so well on the skin. It's absolutely amazing. What a product. And it was only about 36 euros, I think. So yeah, I just I always want more and this is the situation like will I buy the more expensive product? I probably don't need it because the beat is so good and will definitely keep me going for a couple of years. But yeah, I, I, I am greedy in that way. I always want more and want to check is there more. I'm gonna make my green tea now. And there's a few things that I want to tell you about yesterday as well, just to finish off the chat because it was kind of like a rudely cut off by me. Let me just pour a green tea now. Again. But just to let you know about our dinner yesterday that, um, that we had. So it, it felt in the pot when I was cooking it in, um, uh, what is it called? It's not a hot pot. It, <laughs> What was it? Oh my god, I forgot the name. I'm so bad. Sometimes it's just, it's ridiculous. It's ridiculous. Um, so my slow cooker, the meat in the slow cooker was so 
beautifully cooked after a couple of hours i actually left it for a little bit longer than i showed you and was even more cooked it was kind of crispy on the outside soft the inside it was beautiful and actually didn't feel that greasy we thought it's going to be really greasy i did not record it after because i just splashed the potatoes on the plate and they definitely did not look like an instagram food <laughs> so there was no worth it for me to show in that but dinner was absolutely delicious and so tasty we really enjoyed it um but i didn't do a promised stir fry i'm going to do that stir fry with you i will wait for you i'm not going to do it tonight tonight we are going to have dinners for winners and uh, the, the dinners that were delivered to us yesterday so i'm going to have them tonight it's easy because i still have to edit this video just put it online um do a description things like that it's going to take another while um, let me just hold this camera properly <laughs> um, so so yeah I don't really have a time today for cooking um, also what else Colum's hair turned out really really well I he doesn't really want to be in the video yet I might convince him in the future you might meet him eventually but it turns out really well he's really happy so thank God <laughs> uh, he let me keep doing keep cutting his hair and as I mentioned, I only learned from YouTube. I, I cut my own kind of hair, but it's simple enough. Like men's hair is not that simple, but he's really happy. So I hope if you see him in town somewhere, you think that he is looking well. I hope so. <laughs> um, what else? Um, I Productive morning, yes. I was so productive. I did a lot of tidying and clean windows inside and stuff like that. So my kitchen windows, finally, it's nice and clean. But also, um, I was talking to my mom, and as I mentioned, my mom is my worst, uh, worst than the best, I suppose, critic. She always tells me everything honestly, like really honestly. So she always watched my videos, and she said to me, um, I hope you don't mind to say it, but I told her that I'm going to say it to everyone, mom. I am going to tell everyone what you said. <laughs> she, she watched my uh, previous haul that you have seen probably as well, and she saw that ASOS dress. Do you remember that white and blue kind of striped uh, pattern dress from ASOS, a full length dress, a summer dress. So she said, I love all the pieces. You know everything through the videos. Yeah, there were good purchases, but this one, this purchase, it wasn't good. You didn't do well with that one. I was like, mom. And she said, <laughs> she said to me that it actually adds a few pounds. That's why I should return it. And she said, it does not suit me. It's not my style. It's, it's, it's just lovely dress, but it's not for me. So I've decided, I think I'm just gonna return it. <laughs> what do you think? Did you see my previous video? Maybe I just leave the link somewhere here so we can watch it and, and tell me what you think before I decide to return it. I think on Wednesday, I have to go to work for a couple of hours. So I might just return it, bring it to the post office and return it then. But if not, do you remember this from the video? That's the dress. So it's still waiting uh, for me to make a decision. But yes, I'm gonna just go and edit that video. I've also been watching, I'm absolutely in love with, I don't know, can you see it? Um, we have, uh, we're watching on Netflix. I'm actually watching, not Colm, I'm watching because I have a serious girl crush. So I was watching Dynasty actually, and you uh, probably watched that before as well and you only probably watched that for this amazing actress natalie keely that i i'm in love with i i just want to be natalie she's such a lovely person she's such a delicate beautiful personality and character and i follow her on instagram and she's so much into um, mindfulness and self-care and looking after environment yet in dynasty it she's so glamorous absolutely beautiful person natalie keely if you want to have a look at her um on um, in instagram and also there's a new program that she's in we don't have it but it's on i think it's bbc and or abc abc i think it's baker and the beauty and she's as stunning as always in that so yeah i have a girl crush i had a girl crush before but this one is kind of like a really serious um a serious one <laughs> <laughs> I'm absolutely in love with her and Colin's really like her as well. We have the same um, taste in women, but just to let you know, I, I love my color. <laughs> I'm not going anywhere. <laughs> I love men and I love my color. <laughs> Um, but yeah, Natalie Keely, she's an amazing, amazing um, person and so beautiful. So I just want to look like her. If I could just switch. 
but I'm gonna finish that video today my lovely friends my mess is still behind me over there I'm still planning I that mind um, dump this kind of like a mind planning um, mind map can call it many ways it works so well for me and now everything's on the paper and so much easier for me to work and organize my days yeah more planning more doing more cleaning and more washing over there as well waiting for me to <laughs> to fold it after washing yesterday it's dry and ready to go so i'm going to be busy i'm going to focus on editing this video so you can have it definitely tomorrow um which is probably you're going to watch and it's five o'clock on tuesday and then another video will be ready for you on thursday but thank you so much for being here today for pulling through all this messy strange video about different food and different stuff here's the stir fry coming soon we're going to do that stir fry a joe wick stir fry together so for now thank you so much for being here lots of hugs and i will see you soon